Oh, yes, it is. The 1962 Dodge Dart 440. Forever, for always, and in all the known universe, there has never been a car more outer space age, more science fiction, more avant-garde, and more abstract than this. Joyride is brought to you by Holiday Jubilee and Addicted to Americana. Just when you thought things could not get any more bizarre, comes along this, the Salvador Dali of Dodges. Everything about this car is unique. Science fiction styling, and more galore. Rare is the day you get to take a ride in a 1962 Dodge Dart 440. How would you describe the styling of the car? The styling is pure Virgil Exner. He was the head of design and just came up with all sorts of really strange things and I just love it. What's the history of the car? It was a Kentucky car, and it sat in a barn for a really long time. A friend of Stephen Butcher from Funky Junk had it at his, his amazing packing house that's full of trailers and cars and stuff in Fillmore. And uh, Funky Junk had a party, and I fell in love, and I uh, had to have it. It hasn't been restored, it's been painted, and you know, we've had to do stuff to it, but it's basically, you know, all original. So what is your favorite feature of the car? Well, I love this giant steering wheel with the power steering. It makes it very easy to drive, but the push buttons, of course, are always a favorite. I saw my first, first push buttons in a Dodge, when I was 12 years old, my girlfriend's dad came home with this new car and I was just blown away by push buttons. So it's, it's fun to have them now. We're going in drive, there it is. Oh, this car just starts to go right away. Okay, you guys, watch out. We're taking the Dodge Dart 440 for a ride. Yes, we are. I have never driven a car with a Brody knob ever. First time for that. So let's see how it works. Actually, it works pretty good. Ooh, I better be careful though. I'm not used to driving with a Brody knob, but I like it. It's fun. Have you ever driven with a Brody knob before? Very smooth acceleration. Yep. Acceleration is a French word. You didn't know you were gonna learn French today, did you? Look ahead of us. We're like at the mission here, you guys. We're at the Santa Barbara mission. There it is. Santa Barbara mission alert. Behold the glory of some California history right there for you. Oh my gosh. Rare as a day, we have the grace of these two wonders in one place. Yeah, I know. Where do we begin to behold the glory of the spectacular, spellbinding, mesmerizing, and hypnotizing science fiction styling? Don't you love those taillights? Sitting diagonally below those backup lights? I know. Lots of personality in there. There's a whole universe in there. Same there. The car is originally from Kentucky. It is a Dodge. Oh yeah, I love that script, don't you? A little modern art on the trunk for you right there. You wanna talk about modern art? You wanna talk about abstract? You wanna talk about avant-garde? In the realm of all auto styling, few cars, if, <laughs> if any ever, have been more outrageous than that. I know, I know. Look at this beautiful interior. It is Coco Frost, oval steering wheel. Again, the modern art repeats. Push button transmission right there. Let your fingers do the driving, matching heater controls over there. Science fiction style dash. And the tour continues. Outside on the door, a flare begins, which leads your way to the front fender. And oh, it's more than just a front fender. It's a whole symphony of a front end. How about those headlights? 
Have you ever? Will you ever? Do you ever? I don't think so. No, the whole front end, that grill protruding out like that. And these little leaning tower of fender ornaments right there. <laughs> I love those. And it says it right there, D-O-D-G-E, and a little more modern art for you. It's a lot for a human brain to take in. Thank you, Robin. You're welcome, Charles. We might as well just get it out in the open, ladies and gentlemen. This 1962 Dodge Dart 440 is more than a classic car. More than a mid-century modern motoring masterpiece. This 1962 Dodge Dart 440 is a world-class national treasure. Behold the glory. I know. Uh-huh. What's your advice to uh, other ladies who want to get into a classic car hobby, Robin? Let me think about that one. <laughs> for watching joyride you guys don't forget to subscribe right down there because there are plenty more classic cars to experience i know and how much do we all love classic cars also i want you to know i'm available at your service to send personal greetings happy birthday to you happy anniversary happy new classic car or whatever it is on cameo right now also check out my new website it's charlesphoenix.com joyride has been brought to you by Holiday Jubilee and Addicted to Americana. Colorful coffee table books make great gifts. Order your signed copies now at charlesphoenix.com. We ship worldwide.